Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will share with you one scenario based question which was asked in the Power BI interview at Hexaware Technologies. This question was provided to me by one of our subscribers on this channel. So, thought of creating video on this so that everyone can be made aware about this scenario. So, let's discuss about the scenario. But before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because you won't find this kind of content anywhere else on YouTube. So please do like the video and subscribe the channel. And also you can follow me on Instagram. Instagram page you can see at the bottom of the screen. Now you can see on the screen we have three columns. So that means interviewer provided these three columns, column one, column two and type. So column one has values like value one, value, value two, percentage, percentage two. Column two has ex the exact values right 12789.00 that means these two are decimal numbers and these two are percentage so that's why their type has been mentioned here decimal percentage now the ask of the interviewer was how to create another column which can result the values like this so it should result me like this if it is a decimal number it should show 12,789 12,789 if it is a percentage it should show 99.0 percent or 98.0 percent so the resultant should come like this so how to create this calculated column where we have to basically uh, change the type of the values that are present in our existing column 2 i hope you understood the question so if you haven't done this earlier so definitely you will be getting stuck there basically you will be having no clue about this right and you won't be able to answer this question so now i am discussing about its solution so for that we'll create a calculated column here and see let's see how we can create it and change its values i will name it as result so result should be equal to so we have to change the type of the values like if it is decimal we need to change it to thousands if it is uh, in percentage so we have we have to give the percentage number so basically we need to format the values so if we have to format the values so we need to make use of format function okay so format function we'll use here so it takes two arguments value and format so for the value we will be giving our column 2 because column 2 only contains the values so column 2 will provide it here now how to format it so this is the most important thing because we have different types of values here some are decimal some are percentage so for that to implement we need to make use of here switch function here because we have different types that's why we thought of making use of switch function now switch function takes expression okay so here we will make use of type column why i am making use of type column you will understand in couple of seconds now i will make use of type column because you see on the basis of type column we can differentiate we can basically convert those value to some specific type that is required in the resulted column so first column will be type column now comma so the other arguments are value one result one okay so we have to give the value and correspondingly the result will come out so what is the value one so i want to give first decimal so if it is decimal okay so if it is decimal format it to this zero 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 comma zero 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 okay and if it is percentage if it is percentage if the type is percentage then then make it 0.0 percent close the bracket of switch close the bracket of result so i hope till now it is clear what i have done here i have made use of switch function and under, under that i have made use of type column here and i am giving if it is value equal to decimal then change it to 00 comma 000 if it is percentage then get change it to 0.00 percent now let's see if it is working or not for us <clears throat> so i will just click on this icon and boom you get the final result see you easily formatted the values of column 2 with the one which is required right 12 comma 789 99.0 98.0 see exactly the same values we are getting right so this is how we had to approach this problem i hope you understood the solution so let me know in the comment box if you learned something new here and please do like the video and share the video to all your friends and colleagues who are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.